3-1 Lehigh Valley, bottom of the 12th inning, two down, bases loaded. So it is all on the shoulders of Heston Kerstad. And here he is with the game on the line, swinging high fly ball into right. Back on it, Luplo, warning track, roll, goodbye, game-winning grand slam home run by Heston Kerstad. He takes the first pitch and drills it out of here, propelling the Tides to a 12-inning victory. How about that for a way to end it? After an 0-for-5 day with three strikeouts, Heston Kerstad hammers the first pitch that he sees here in the 12th inning. Deep to right center. What a dramatic conclusion to our ball game today. Ford rips the 0-2 into left field, and Harry will settle for a leadoff single. Ford on the 3-2, swings and hits a ground ball into left field, a base hit. Harry Ford, two for two today. Big lead for Ford at first base. The pitch is a ball, the throw to second, and Ford is safe. 1-1, struck pretty well. Fly ball, right center field, nobody will get it. In. A triple for Harry Ford, two pitch coming. Line over the third baseman, four hits for Harry. First pitch lined into the gap out in left center field, and it splits the outfielders. Vega in to score. Hassel behind him as the throw comes in from Malgiri. Pinkney coming all the way to first. He scores. Cruz standing on second with a bases clearing three RBI double. And the Sens lead three to two in the third. Ready, ready match for the pitch. He's hit on a soft line past the shortstop. Cruz into left center field. Pinkney rounding third, he's being waved around as the throw comes in, it's cut off. Pinkney scores, Cruz around first into second base with a double. Scoreless game, bottom half of the 10th inning. Shane Fontana at second base, Holiday lays down a beautiful bunt. Third baseman, a high throw late, Holiday beats it out for an infield hit and more importantly sends Fontana down to third with a winning run. Well, first and foremost, Holiday was trying to sacrifice and get Fontana on to third. But he laid down such a good bunt, he was able to leg it out for a base hit himself. Mr. Mar Johnson hits the ball twisting to the left field corner, and that ball has left the yard. Mr. Mar Johnson hits it over the 332 sign down near the corner and makes it a 5 to 1 ball game in favor of the Greensboro Grasshoppers. That's some pretty significant pop there. Lines one up the middle. Caught by Cole Young, diving behind second base. What a grab. Cole Young lays out, loses his hat, and robs Caden Wallace. Full extension. Royce Marquintana. There's a breaking ball that's slapped over to left field. Mena running over. He won't get there. Quintana has a long single. Fly ball hit well to right center field, chasing Wetzel back to the warning track. He won't get there. It's a double for Quintana. Hit hard to left. Mena backing up right by the wall, and he's got, no, he doesn't have it. It bounces up. Quintana ends up on third base. And he swings at it, high fly ball to center. Wetzel backing up, he turns up, and it is gone. A cycle for Royce Bar Quintana. 2-2 again by Lyon. Fly ball toward the right field line. Long run. Can anyone get there? And oh, it's a foul ball. Did wow. he get it? He did. Oh, Allen oh. got to that ball and made the play. Oh. Jay out of the second. Sliding grab. What a play by Jay. In foul territory, too. Yeah, tip of the cap for to be sure. What a play. He's got swing and miss stuff. A one two pitch, strike three on a fastball. On strike three called again. A two and two pitch, cold strike three. And actually that was the 0-2 that was swung out and missed for a strikeout. That that heater right there at 94 miles an hour. A slider, check swing, got him, see it. Here you are, slider swung on a miss. As there's another one. A one and two, swing and a miss. Strike three right over the middle. And a breaking ball swung on and missed. One and two pitch, swung on and missed. The 0-2, swing and a miss. Kenta Maeda gets the ball for Toledo, the rehabbing right-hander. 36-year-old from Japan in eight major league seasons is 66 and 50 with a 4.01 ERA. And the right-hander's pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out on a breaking ball. He pitches, swing and a miss, and he struck out Nunez on a breaking ball. And a breaking ball, swing and a miss. He chased one, strike three. One, two. 
It's on the outer edge, it called third strike. So another punch out for Maeda, his fourth. Lamb swings and misses, and we're through three. Arrows at the plate, one for four on the afternoon. Pitch is lifted high in the air, deep to left field, to the wall, it's gone! Kyle Kairos has just won it with a three-run homer in the bottom of the ninth, and the Indians rally from behind and take it by a final score of 10 to nine. Jubilation at home plate. Isert's 1-1, line to left to base hit for James Wood. Mejia scores, Baker zooms around third, he'll score two. It's a two run single for James Wood and a three nothing Red Wing lead in the third inning. Wood lefty on lefty lined it to left for the two run single is 26th and 27th runs driven in of the season. John Sterling was not calling it on radio. Michael Kay not on TV. And there's a long drive hit out to deep right center field. That ball's way back, and that ball clears the wall. It's a home run. Jace Young hits a fastball over the wall in right center field. And the Toledo Mudhens, who are a good hitting ball club, have an early 1-0 lead on Young's eighth home run of the year in his 31st RBI. He's been really impressive both weeks that we've gotten to watch the Indians square off against Toledo. Wallace lines it into left field, base hit over by the line. That's going to roll for a while down into the corner. Duran scores behind him, cross, relay to the plate, not in time. Two run double for Greenbrier's Caden Wallace. And the Naturals now lead at five to one in the eighth. Pitch, swinging a high fly ball to center. Back on it is Ramos, still going back. Warning track at the fence, and this one is gone, a home run. Boy, it just got over the fence. That had some carry to it. The ball game is tied 1-1. It just made it over into the berm. Today he's playing in his fifth inning of rehab. Aaron Boone saying it's going to be likely at least another week after this one. Nothing but walks today for DJ. A one. LeMayhew shoots it in the left field for a base hit. Here comes Jones from second base. He gets the wave in. LeMayhew holds up at first, and Jones will come in from second on an RBI single from DJ LeMayhew. He's been on base four times in today's game, and he extends the Patriots' lead to 7 to nothing in the fifth inning. A perfect day for DJ through five innings today. Hammer to left. Capers is back. That ball is off the wall. RBI double Henry Pulte. Pulte swats this out to right center field. Lipscomb is going back. He is at the wall, looks up, it's gone! An exclamation point for Pulte seven. Big lead for Butler, there he goes. This pitch walloped out to left center field, hit a ton, and it is off the base of the Miller Lite sign in left center. The throw from Fox, it's late! Double, homer, triple for Pulte. That's very important to understand, you know, as a as a young player. Malloy drives one down the right field line, and that gets out. Opposite wow. field shot for Justin Henry Malloy. Mm. Two run blast, and it's 8-1 Toledo. In Midland, a 6-5 lead. They swung on hit the air toward right center field. Long run for Church. Goes into a dive. He did it again. Are you kidding me? Another spectacular play by Nathan Church. Full extension toward the gap in right center field. Denzel Clark with his hands on his hips in disbelief. The top push down the bound, carries a 4-1 record. 3-2 pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. This is 3-2 pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Here's the 0-2, swing and a miss, strike three. Here comes the 2-2, swing and a miss, strike three. The 2-2, swing and a miss, strike three. Swing and a miss, strike three. Here's the 0-2, swing and a miss, strike three. Kasovich has struck out the ninth strikeout victim of Carson Tompkins. Slow curve is swung on and missed. There's a pitch in there, strike three called. Swing and a miss, strike three. Palmquist has tied the franchise record.